two, one. Hello and welcome to the Legacy Crusaders YouTube channel. This is Benji, and today I'm joined by Twigs of the Trap Tricks Orcus Trap Tricks Orchid Discord server. Say what up. What's up? Yeah. All right. So Twigs is going to tell me how to play this deck. So if you're not familiar with the series, I bring someone on who knows how to play a deck. They tell me what to do over a few games on YGO Pro, and I try to do I try to ask the questions that you, the audience, might have. We're going to do a quick card by card, and then we'll take a look at what's different about this list compared to what you might have expected it to look like. Because I see a lot of things that stand out to me as odd. I'm not saying they're bad. New ban lists, people who play decks do things for reasons that I don't understand. And I actually, my deck got hit by the ban list, so I want to learn how to play Trap Trick because I have a structured deck, so I'm sure a lot of other people are in a similar boat. So do a quick card by card, and then we'll take a look at the deck list. We're on three Ash, three a Dimension Shifter, two Arachnocampa, uh, two Dianea, three Mantis, three Mermillo, uh, three Pudica, one, how on earth do you pronounce this name? Vesiculo. Vesiculo, that's cool. Vesiculo, Vesiculo. A lot of ways to pronounce it. I thought about playing one of those. It seems like a cool extender. I got three Prosperity, which I was finally willing to get after the ban list. One Trap Trick, uh, one Bottomless, two Floodgate, two tra Grave Digger, three Infinite Impermanence, one Terrifying Trap Hole Nightmare, three Phantom Nightshade Brigandine, three Trap Tricks, one Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare, and in the extra we're on Artifact Durendal, which is cool. One Divine Arsenal Zeus, one Baguska the Terribly Tiled Tapir, one Satellar Knight Constellar Diamond, one Teller Knight Ptolemaeus, one Time Thief Redoer, one Trap Tricks Alamaris, one Pingulica, one Rafflesia, uh, one Asa the Earth Charmer, one Adipus, three Sarah, one, what do they say now? Underworld uh, White Goddess. Woman Jump Scare, I think is the new thing. True. So in the side deck, so Underworld Goddess of the Closed World, for anyone who doesn't care about memes. In the side, we're on two Gadarla, one Steel, three Cosmic Cyclone, three Dark Ruler No More, three Anti Spell, and three Evenly Match. And I know I talked way longer than I intended, my bad. So you took this list, or some variation of this list, to YCS Philly. Yes. So the variation I took to YCS Philly had the ashes in the side, did not play Dark Ruler, did not play Evenly, and instead played three Droll and Lockbird, did not play the Terrifying Trap Hole, and played two fewer Prosperity, instead choosing to play Nib, mostly due to, my, to only having access to one Prosperity at the time. In hindsight, I would have even cut the Prosperity and just played 3-Nib instead. All right, cool. Modifications have been made since, I assume, mostly ban list and obtaining Prosperities? Ban list primarily, because Ash was not personally like a big thing for a lot of the decks I was worried about. I know it hurts, hurts Branded, and Branded is a very difficult matchup, but I actually was very confident in the Branded matchup just with Shifter and Nib. The Prosperities are just because Prosperities... A generally good card in a format where people are considering going off of droll one of my friends was actually trying to make an argument for no prosperities being like ah if you play it you play into droll which can kill your extension with mantis mermelio or putica under the field spell or even just prosperity than normal putica normally you would get hit on putica because you'd want to not lead prosperity for that reason but adding the wrong card off prosperity can also extremely hinder your plays. Terrifying Trapple Nightmares similarly was a, an anti-branded choice, and branded is now going to be more popular. Therefore, Terrifying Trapple Nightmare is a good card. If anyone's not familiar, I believe if you pop Mirror Jade and then banish it, you and because of the then conjunction on this card, not only do you destroy Mirror Jade, you remove it from the trigger location it would go to to activate to destroy all your monsters. Uh, you actually prevent it from activating and destroying anything. So it's kind of like uh, the a... ruling. The citation for the ruling would be Ben 10 DD Crow. If you alpha tribute Ben 10, chain link to DD Crow target Ben 10. Ben 10 that was tributed went to the graveyard. The Ben 10 in the banished pile was not tributed. It was banished from grave. Yeah. So that is the Ben 10 ruling from April 1st, 2020. Master rule for revisions. Okay, so yes. it applies to this trap card mostly because of its uh, then conjunction. So it does the two things separately. If it just banished it, it would activate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. Okay, cool. Anything else that might be different about your list that other people aren't used to? I haven't seen, I haven't, I'm not, I, I haven't played a traditional trap tricks deck. I'll just put my list on screen really quickly just so people can see the silliness I've been doing. But uh, I was on a Gamma Turbo list. But I wasn't really on Shade Brigandine, but the list I've been looking up didn't really play it that much. So I don't know what the thought process uh, so, on this is. So... The three main things that would probably stand out to people would be the num the because the most of the list is very standard. Two Kampa, two Dianea, three of all the good normal summons are fairly standard. 
the things that would usually be of note would be which what extender you want, extra trap tricks monsters, in this case Vesiculo, and the whole lineup. So the whole lineup was double floodgate because Kashdira, two gravediggers because I really like having one in deck at minimum to hit a Nibiru off Rafflesia, as well as the ability to set one in case I'm up against something like Branded or a tier limit player. I can just trigger it twice. Bottomless, I really don't like running bottomless, but Ant Alba's normal summon action requires bottomless because terrifying trap or trap trick trap hole nightmare, excuse me, does not hit normal summons. It only hits special summon effect. So normal summon Alba's does clear half your field if you don't have a bottomless uh, or a read in play. Okay. Shade Brigadine is because you play Shifter. Shifter is an incredibly powerful card with a with a winning matchup against pretty much every deck in every format, except for Fluanderies and Kashtira. Shade Brigadine is functionally holity, but without a discard. Under Shifter, he becomes the optimal trap to activate because you don't care about banishing you care when you, about banishing holity under if you, for example, use reader or effect to, re, to return a card from the top to the top of the deck. That will banish the Holity. You want Holity in Grave or on Field. Shade Brigadine is okay getting banished while also playing around Tikaboo because it's a warrior. You can go Sarah, summon, Mer summon Shade Brigadine, summon Mermelio. Mermelio will now pop a back row, and then you can make Time Thief Redoer to clear the, the Tikaboo. Just so everyone Addition follows that warrior, <clears throat> plant, insect. Yep, and then Psychic. Oh yeah, then Psychic. Similarly, Shade Brigadine... The biggest difference from my experience with Shade Brigadine from Exceed, outside of the fact that they sort of conflict with Holity, is how available they are. Shade Brigadine is available as long as you've as long as you have no traps in grave. Imperm often will conflict with this. However, Holity comes up often is searchable enough that often doesn't matter if you're not under Shifter. If you are under Shifter, it won't matter because the Imperm will be banished. Similarly, Exceed is required to get before you make Sarah, or if you can make something like Auk, Auk the Earth Charmer. Because once you link summon Sarah, you're not going to have a zone a link monster points to unless you remove that Sarah. This can be fine if you're playing something like the Aroma Samuel Griffey Jasmine line, which will you'll make another link too. You can use the Exceed now to make a Strena and then add back something else. However, under Shifter, in the last format especially, most decks that can make it will make Baguska pass under Shifter. That's bad for Exceed because Exceed has to trigger on field. Shade triggers Sarah, who is a Link monster, therefore bypassing that restriction. Okay. The final reason is because, I'm a, because I played Trap Tricks before the Structure deck, I have a burning hatred of Exceed for not triggering Sarah's effect to set a normal trap. If you go if you go Exceed, if you go Sarah, Sarah into Exceed and then have no other extenders, you're setting four passing at best when Shade Brigadine would have set you that fifth card of your choice as well as getting trap tricks into rotation. Makes sense. And most of the lists I have tested where I wasn't doing like when I was playing weird, every time you get hit on parallel, it's always like a weird play. If they have Imperm, they could just use it on parallel and kind of accomplish another, the same thing. That's another huge thing. Exceed loses extremely hard to infinite impermanence or effect failure, where it doesn't just not summon another monster like you would if you Imperm or if you Veiler the Sarah. Sarah doesn't even lose to Imperm. No, you need the Mermillo and the Mantis right. to go through. Additionally, they, they additionally, the Exceed becomes a level 8. Uh -huh. That's extremely bad for you because that you can't use that to to xc summon with the card that you would summon off of sarah being triggered by imperm you need to remedy this with garden of course garden sends special back the monster that you use to make sarah which can be all right now you have a clear graveyard you can shift her later than you would otherwise the other thing that i think might stand out would be or the final thing that i think that would stand out the ptolemaeus package in the extra deck this is a very funny package series of cards. Tellerite Ptolemaeus is a generic rank four. You can detach three materials to rank up into a rank five, as well as the ability to attach a Satellarite monster from your extra deck to it as material. 
This is an Omni Negate functionally. Durandal has the effect of where a monster effect on the field or a normal spell trap is activated. You can attach a material from the card. That activated effect becomes destroy a spell trap your opponent controls. This is often just a pure Omni Negate. Uh, you can do, do this to beat evenly. You can do this to beat an Albaz activation, even under Branded Lost. You can use this to stop a Barone de Fleur Negate. The better thing about this is that you have a little thing right there that says you can detach a material from this card. Each player shuffles their, their hand with a hand, shuffles their hand into the deck, then draws the same number of cards. Back when Droll was played, you could use this to reincarnation hand loop the opponent. They would go like a search off of, off of Unicorn. You go chain link one Durandal, chain link two Droll. They shuffle their hand back, Droll takes effect, they, or they, Droll takes effect, they shuffle their hand back, they don't draw anything. The okay. Would specific... you consider possibly replacing this with something else now that you're not on Droll? Potentially. However, I still think the Omni Negate is better than it, pretty much anything else the deck can do because it's such it's so low investment. Any ability to make a rank four can make this. The Ptolemaeus activation can can to attach does does not have to happen in the same turn as you as you turn it into a Durandal, as well as the ability to play Constellar Diamond, which by itself stops branded fusion except for it turns into polymerization because they cannot send cards from their hand to the graveyard or deck yeah, from the deck to the graveyard familiar. yeah diamond's pretty wild you can't send cards from deck to grave and i think cards that get added back from grave are also banished which is random yes additionally one thing you that some people might be noticing is that i'm not playing the sargas which has been pretty popular recently heroic champion sargas can be made on, over Springen's Merrymaker, which is a generic rank four, and can allow you to have a 2800 body that you can now make into a two material Zeus. Ptolemaeus also has that quality. While it's much smaller, you can run into defense position monsters and then make Constellar Diamond in main phase two because Constellar Diamond can be ranked up over any Teller Knight Xyz monster. And then you have a f another four material Zeus, which is obviously a good thing. This package is just more versatile than other packages, as well as being a very easy Prosperity Banish, if you don't gotcha. need it. This card I haven't seen too many lists, Alamaris. Right. Alamaris is basically one of the OTK pieces. Oftentimes it is either an OTK piece or a way to proc Mermelio 7 billion times per turn due to the Reborn effect. It also has a very funny effect that I haven't seen many people utilize, of if a monster leaves the field because of your card effect and is now in the graveyard or banished, you can detach a material from this card, target one of them, special summon it into the field. I think I've seen Ping attaching things, but I don't think I've seen Alamaris right. doing that. That's because Alamaris requires th two or more materials. Uh, you need three materials in order to do that because you have to detach two to Reborn. The way you can do this, though, is make three materials, including a Pudica, detach, including the Pudica, Reborn the Pudica, Pudica, banish whatever you want, and then reborn it to your side of the field. Recently at Locals, I stole a Goatee player's Cheng Ying. Both times it was because I did that. That sounds pretty funny. All right, cool. We're definitely going to have to try and go out of our way to make this happen. This <laughs> of course. In game. So if anyone, again, if I wasn't clear, we're going to play a few games against the Wild West of Yu-Gi-Oh, the YGO Pro Meta competitive server, which could be literally anything from the future or from the past or complete trash or completely seriously cooked up stuff. And we'll come back to decklist at the end, and we'll talk about anything that didn't come up. Is there anything else we need to mention before we get going? Because I think we covered all the cool, really oh, cool Vesiculo. stuff. Oh, Vesiculo. I didn't mention Vesiculo, did I? Oh, yeah. yeah. Vesiculo is a, an extender that doesn't lock you. That doesn't sound like a lot, given that Kampa is literally free half the time. But a lot of the time, you want to end with Redoer. And re being able to end with Redoer is a premium. So oftentimes, if you want to end on Redoer and you have like other resources, you'll have to he play heavily into Nibiru using stuff like Garden in order to extra normal Mantis, get Kampa, make Redoer there after Shade Brigadine or Holity, and then make Rafflesia, which can get you nibbed. Vesiculo can play under that restriction. You can make the Rafflesia early and then go for whatever other plays. Additionally, in situations where they have, for example, a Barkeon, which would turn off both the extenders I play, Vesiculo is a very good search off of Mantis because you can send a Holity to the grave, 
which will allow you to use the graveyard effect to reborn whatever you had sent off for link material for Sarah. That's extremely useful because it's functionally a free reborn without using a one of the trap monsters. And then you still have the ability to shade Brigadine because Polity banishes from the graveyard. She ha she creates a lot of extreme plays. Oh, she also works with Shifter. She doesn't work explicitly with Shifter because most of her effects are actually turned off by Shifter. However, the banish from the graveyard to reset a hole clears two things from your graveyard. That's extremely useful if you make ping first, detach hole, detach Vesicula after searching her with, for example, Holity. Now Vesicula can reborn, can reset the hole, and now you all you have to clear is the normal summon from from Sarah, the normal summon you made into Sarah. Which, if you're making a ping line, you're often going to be holding a garden. So you're obviously searching Dianea. This is a way to keep Dianea in deck for later, because you're only playing two copies, you don't want to get both. It's a way to keep Dianea in, in a hand for later, as well as being able to shift her during your end phase once your graveyard is clear. That's cool, the idea of shiftering an end phase. It's, I didn't realize you can clear your graveyard that. It's extremely goofy. <laughs> it seems like you got to go through a lot of work to do that. You'd think so, but you actually really don't. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see it in game. So let's let's see what we can do. Hopefully that comes up. Let me make sure we're set on the right game type, and let's get going. All right, EU competitive. I got to make sure I have the right ban list on. I haven't been on here in forever. June 500 second gives us time to toss the talk. Let's see. Competitive, please. Smiley. See if that keeps us from getting total garbage. But I uh, can't wait, turn wait, off. Don't worry. I can't turn off like future release stuff because then we just won't get a game because people just don't go looking for the TCG only games. Yeah, so we well, might play they, some they got, future they got stuff. These new toys. They, they gotta test out their synchro piles. That'd be pretty wild. It could happen. <laughs> or we could play versus some. Oh, what else is out now? Oh, well, I don't really want to play versus. We, I'm not used to. We have it. so many outs to to a speeder. Every hand in our deck is speeder. But they can chain block speeder with the permanent shifter. Both kill the card. Got it. Player. My least favorite opponent, player. Because if I have to kick them for not doing anything, I don't know if the next person that comes in with the name player is the same person. Oh my god, why are they taking so long? And they're gone. <laughs> and they're gone. Yeah. This is why Omega is the superior simulator. Um, yeah, I don't dislike Omega. I just, I'm not used to the, what do you call it? The functionality. I don't run it so well. So I'll play at gotcha. a slow pace or I'll click a lot. I did that with... The first or second. Okay. Um, the dice roll, they've chosen to go first. They don't know. They don't... This actually kills our hand. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Please. Oh, shit. Oh, they're gonna have the fucking continue... They're gonna have the quick play spell, but if they do... Oh, we win. Never mind. All right. So this is actually one of the worst matchups in the game. <laughs> Never mind. This matchup, this matchup is incredible. This is a normal Pudica moment. Normal Pudica. All right. Search field spell. Search the field spell. Because we're hoping that we can get the normal mantis we will not get the normal mantis that is unfortunate we just go battle phase here should we go into sarah or i guess we might as well that would reduce two. the damage by 100 you just go battle phase okay and then main two make sarah set one pass strongest end board I can granted it's a bricked flu player so this actually might act this might legitimately be the strongest end board what would they need to draw to make this playable they'd have to have another bird and have this quick play now? That's fine, actually, because they can't chain the Robina. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, we fire it. Oh, or well, we can let them add it back in normal summon Robina, then import uh, the Robina? I don't know if that's better or worse. That's probably about the same as the thing. If you, because if you're going to wait, you want to wait for Eaglin. But I think you just fire it here, because at worst, we just get Sarah activation. At best, we win the game. <laughs> so, Sarah? Yes. It's so hard. And the play to grab here is Mermelio. On a field where you can't do anything, okay, that's fine. Any field you can't grab anything from Mermelio, or excuse me, if you can't banish anything with Putica or set a hole with Dianae, you're always getting, or just don't care, you're always getting Mermelio. Because it's mandatory and it'll activate. Because it's a mandatory, effect, yes. Normal Mantis here. We actually get to do the line. We get to do the Vesicula thing. Next, you're going to add Arachnacampa here. We're not talking about the special or opponent's card thing because... Uh, we could do that actually as well. They have flunder cards they, we can't special. That's the only reason I'm mentioning it. You're right, they do. They do. So you're going to go Sarah effect here. I think, how oh, do we go for that? It is flu, and none of our holes actually do anything. So I think we grab Holity. 
Yeah, my goofy deck list I was playing only played Holty and uh, yes. Floodgate. So now you're going to go Vesiculo effect, send the Holy Duty Grave. And you're probably just going to go battle phase here, because there's nothing that we can... Unless we want to make a 4 material Zeus, there's not much value in doing anything right now. So I think we just go battle phase, poke a bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we're committed. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> yeah, now we're committed. Yeah, I don't mind taking our, only, a little bit of time between plays just in case our opponent only, wants to bounce. Uh, the only concern. The only difference would be you could potentially ha we could potentially have gone ping and then searched another card and then set. So here we're just going to make roughly easier. Do any There's, of our trap holes do anything for actually, that? To be we, just go, we just win the game. Uh, we just like win the game play. with bigger scale. I like when I like when the game. That sounds like a good play because now their <laughs> other card in hand has to be imperm. <clears throat> And the, if it is the thing that Roughly Zoo would do here is be able to Floodgate Trap Hold the M-Pen, because M-Pen is the only one that we actually care about existing. We could maybe banish the Ryza or pop the Ryza somehow, but Delusion, Terrifying Trap Hold Nightmare, and Trap Trish Trap Hold Nightmare are both offline due to them not special summoning. That doesn't do anything. They'll get a bunch of stuff in hand, right? They'll get a few cards in hand. Which is something if they have the, what do you call it? may not spell? be right, but... Just they ash have, that. Even if they have, which spell are we talking about? What's it called? Unexplored winds. They might be able to draw cards off of it. I guess ashing that's like the only thing you might want to do this turn. Yeah, if they Maybe have unexplored also... winds, they would have to have unexplored winds plus another way to a normal summon. Well, I mean, if they spell... have unexplored winds, they can just shuffle back the two spell, the two birds. Yeah, they just... <laughs> could be like that. <laughs> yeah, let's remove some dead cards. And, uh... That and the other one. Bottomless isn't great. Floodgates. Oddly good in this matchup. Shifters, no, we're not. We're not playing with shifters anymore. They'll probably sell um, it out too. Probably dark ruler. Definitely. How many cards are we missing? We want. Okay, so we want dark ruler. We want cosmic to be honest, because uh, that would give us back the ability to pop their normal. And the only other thing is, I think we should take out one grave digger and the bottomless maybe, and then because oh, I kind of want to put kaiju's in is the thing i kind of want to put kaijus in just to like completely mess with apex avian but i'm not sure what we'd take out there probably one campa one oh no campa's good though take out a prosby take out a floodgate okay happy that yes okay uh, we have... potentially evenly or no not worth it they would just go apex okay a, fair. Even... dark ruler is just better in that situation fair enough okay Let's see what they do. This is not the matchup I expected us to be talking through, but <laughs> it, is it does not address the like it addresses the problems in our deck, which is a good right. Thing. We much of our reliance is on special on the opponent's special summoning monsters. Oh, we win the game anyway. Doesn't matter. Oh, this um, hand is good. I thought our hand was bad. Nuts. This hand's nuts. Oh, this hand is so good. Do we need another trap tricks monster for this to do something? No. Oh. Or potentially. Probably not, though, because we draw either a, either a trap and then we just get the holity to search and then we can make ping search. Or we get a trap tricks monster or we get non-engine and we just kill them. So you're going to want to ash the eaglin once the eaglin comes down, because without the eaglin search, they're less likely to be on. So what do they probably play? They probably play two to three M a talk in. Oh, God. Yeah, they're probably you got to ash the they. There's going to be no other spot to Ash. Oh. If, they hard drew the, if they hard drew the Tribute Summon, they hard drew the Tribute Summon. Oh, that's fine. That's actually extremely fine. Funny thing about Harvey's Featherstorm, it does not, it's not Skill Drain. It's Baguska. And what that means is that it doesn't actually affect any of the Trap Trick Extra Monsters, and we win the game. Normal Summon, Putika. If we Kaiju the uh, Wind oh, sorry. Monster. Sorry, excuse me. Yes, Kaiju, Kaiju the Wind Monster, Cosmic the uh, Field Spell. This is just going to feel like they got sacked really hard it's gonna feel extremely like they got sacked but we don't actually the thing is we don't actually care about the uh, harvey's feather storm because the harvey's feather the thing about her we still normal put a gun do that one the thing about harvey's feather storm is that it negate it will negate the small trap tricks monsters but the trap tricks extra -trick monsters are immune to trap cards because oh. harvey's feather storm negates at point of resolution oh that's fine go to the, go make sarah first because that's just usually a better idea. Because if they if we make Sarah first, then we get the idea if they're on Mourner. Now we go Garden. We can still set off of Mantis. Set the Holity and Normal Mantis. And then with Priority, activate Mantis Effect. Can you think of a scenario where the Priority is going to matter? No. <laughs> yes, actually, if they Mirror Jade. 
Oh, okay. If they mirror Jade, you want to force them to mirror to do shit in response to you. I'm do just not gonna set. keep this in our hand. I don't see a reason. Do not set. Now Sarah can set the uh, second holity. <laughs> and we pitch holity for holity. Woo! Holity wasn't the hard ones. And then we just Sarah effect to summon a Mermelio. Get the feather storms out of the way. If they search the card, they search the card. They can't, they're under drill. Oh, you're right. They <laughs> can't, they're under drill. And uh, they concede. Yep. That was a yep. pretty cool sequence. Just, just so I don't really fully forget and make sure I fully understand the... You want to use priority against Mirror Jade so that you're chain link one? Because Mirror Jade is non-targeting, so it's a good idea to get into the, ha into the habit of using your, sh your stuff as soon as possible. Unless you are confident that they have removal in the back row, you want to just shotgun as many things as possible so they are forced to respond to you. That is the way that is a good way to get a lot of knowledge on your opponent if they respond if because they can sometimes panic and do and do shit and do stuff especially on simulators but one of the big things is that being able to for example dodge a quick effect banish usually doesn't matter in this type of situation what would the other situations be mirror j banish means that you would not have stuff on on the field but it's also what was i thinking i can't remember what i was think what i was thinking that's it fine. Was, if it, if it, it comes back to you, it comes things. back to you. I was yeah. thinking another thing is, in this case, we couldn't search, but I guess if... Uh, do I want at, to talk about at that? At worst, we hmm. get... What do we get Some, here? We something came a... to mind for, for Master Duel. Because I'm, I'm sure a lot of these cards will be released in Master Duel soon, since Colty is not there. But I wanted to comment, like, I don't know if you're familiar with the legal cheat play on um, adventure cards. I am aware of that, yes. Yeah, like, I feel like you can normal Mantis prio, prio to use the add trap from hand degree hand effect instead you can but there's no real reason to do that especially when the other effect is just incredible yeah i'm sure there's no reason why you would choose not to add a trap tricks monster from your deck to your hand okay all right it was just a thought that came to mind at the moment figure i mention it especially since some people i'm sure here will be watching because of interest in master yep. reasons there are some situations where you don't want to use priority for example the effect or there there are some where you absolutely do for example, Natria Mole Cricket. If you normal summon, get a Natria Mole Cricket on the field, use that thing immediately, because if they torrential tribute as chain, as on the in response, you can't summon anything that will stick around. So it's something. It's I guess stuff like that got me into habit. Okay. Always going first. This is a hand. Oh. Did we just start with it? No. Wait. This name's familiar. Gosh, what do I do here? No, you don't start with it. Yeah, you. Do you though? I'm really questioning if I would because the thing about it is I don't want Vesicula to be banished, but also I'd like to get a read on my opponent first. So I think I would. I think I would use it first. Yeah, play around Ogre, see if they have a response for anything. They probably won't because it's a very hard card to respond to. And then we just normal Vesicula, make Sarah set Shade, activate Shade, get Mermelio, set. Floodgate trap hole here probably. They have priority at the moment, so I gotta wait. Gotcha. What could they possibly have? Fist deal? They couldn't have been Maybe. thinking about that. The, the thing is, they, they couldn't have been thinking about it on uh, activation of shifter because activation of shifter, we didn't have a monster, so it wasn't a quick effect at that time. All right, Sarah, Jade. Like I've been seeing the shifter lists of trap tricks, but I haven't really gotten to see how it's been affecting the actual in game. It pretty much just means you make Rephlesia less. You make Redoer more, you make Rephlesia less, and that's about it, to be honest. The Kampa here is actually going to be pretty big for us, because we don't have to use it to trigger Sarah. That means that we get the free effect of a Sarah. But it's also, if they, for example, gamma here, if it was pre-list, you'd be able to use the Kampa in response to the Gamma, still end on a rank 4. You get Mermelio here. Mermelio will be able to trigger, and we don't want to use the Mantis in deck. Mantis is the better normal summon past turn one. Pre-turn one, it's, or on turn one, it's hand dependent, but Mantis is usually the better one. What are we grabbing? We are grabbing Floodgate Trap Hole, because Floodgate Trap Hole will hit the decks that aren't hit by Shifter. Any graveyard deck that is that was able to play under Shifter deserves to win the game. I'm sorry. I'll say it. We're making Redoer here. Because Redoer is the best card under Shifter, other than Baguska, but without defense a... attack? Does it matter? Defense. 
because that way if they lightning storm they do not deal with the reader they do not force the reader activation set nightmare yes oh, and well. nibiru i just proc proc reader run away run away so this is a bit unfortunate but oh they keep it don't they oh no they got our guys never mind i'm thinking they, they got the sarah they also have an 800 attack token um so we're just setting one setting the the trap trick nightmare and they have a nibiru and a dream past that if we had garden and we hadn't shifted we could yup this deal what is this deck? All right, this well, might be a bit of a problem. This might be a bit of a problem. <laughs> I think we lose, but it's okay. No, we don't lose. Uh, not definitively, but it's probably but we, not. We'd good. like to get a monster here is the thing. That's better than a monster. Yep. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, we win the game. <laughs> All right. So this is Dragon Link. If it wasn't clear from the, uh, the Branded Beast, this is a Dragon Link list. So they are actually losing the game here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put the probably the nibiru back on the top of their deck let them declare attacks let them declare attacks they don't have anything that stops you on attack deck so if they attack into the redoer first okay cool no let it go don't act let it go let it go let that go and then we are going to put the sarnir on the top and the, thing, the thing is we just want to keep reader here the sarnir on the top is going to be taken by redoer on the next standby phase so we are guaranteed a monster uh, more importantly, they are setting and passing. Additionally, more importantly, was that we have the, we drew the best card in the game. So that reader is actually like a bit of a, a bit of an annoyance because we don't want to use them right now. So we're going to normal mantis, and then we're going to use the effect. See if they have a response, and if they don't, we use mantis again. We're going to want you want to use mantis target the floodgate trap hole we have set to return it to our hand. This is because no, thank you. This is because when we make Sarah. We want to be able oh, to. That was just a that's, massive that's misclick. Fine. That's actually completely fine. You were gonna make the ad didn't really matter here. Vesicula was not in the deck, so we're going to make the Sarah here, and then we're going to activate our Arachnacampa effect, and then we're going to set a Holty off of Sarah. So I'm gonna attack, and then we're gonna Sarah effect to set the Holty, which will allow us to. That's why we added the Floodgate Trap Hole back, uh, because okay. now we have a discard for the. Trap Trick's Holity. Is it? Yes. Discard the Floodgate Trap Hole. So far, it seems like it's never good to set off of Mantis. All right. It will not be. And now we're going to use Sarah Effect and summon Trap Trick's Dianea here. Dianea will now be able to reset the whole normal trap and grave, which is the Floodgate Trap Hole. Which we want to use next turn to make sure it doesn't get banished, right? Uh, which we, we can always add it back off of a Mantis if we oh. ever need to. Oh. Okay. Mantis is really nice for that. And then we're going to be... How do we make... We make Alamiris here With because we're going to use the Holity and the Dianna. Okay. Just the Holity and the Dianna. And attack position. And then we're going to use it to Reborn. All right. So that's the nib check. Activate Reborn the... We want a lot of... We want defense. So we Reborn Mantis. By detaching Holtea? Detaching both. Oh, it's both. You have to detach two monsters. That's why you have to use three materials in order to, to steal. And then gotcha. we're going to grab the mantis back because we want higher defense uh with okay. our current board and if they have nib if not we make Rephlesia in defense and then we pass with them having the nib we're function we're we are basically right now just setting up a board okay so we're just setting up Rephlesia? a board that can yes overlay for Rephlesia. this will insulate us against nibiru defense and defense in the middle probably right there okay just clarifying we don't have a way to deal with nib right now right no, we do not. No, we do. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay. The moment they special summon, we will. Okay. But they have a special summon, so it doesn't matter. So we pass here? Yes. We may... I may have even wanted to not even worry about making Alamiris. Just left a camp on field, but I don't believe they would play a Duster or Lightning Storm main. Stand by Redoer. Yoink. This is... This, yes, attach. <clears throat> this is probably going to be a spell or a monster, because Beast is the only one they would play. Yep. Oh, Druus Worm. Fantastic. They have no search targets for, uh, for what's his face? For Mag. If it's a Dragon Link deck, the whole deck is search targets. Battle phase. Yes, that's fine. That's completely fine. We don't care what it attacks, or I guess we see what it's attacking? We see what it's attacking. We let them check if we do a, a quick check if they... Okay, we read her here. Yeah, we read her here. So they're getting the monsters in the grave regardless. Sometimes you have to deal with that. And then we're not... We're letting the Sarenir go through, unfortunately. What, are they going to send a billion? Uh, they're... Probably Bestial Lubellion, yeah. We're, letting, we're allowing that. Because at worst, we floodgate trap all the Bestial Lubellion. 
Bestial Rebellion sends any monster except itself, right? Any level six or higher dark dragon. Oh, then we would. Uh, oh, dark. Okay. Okay. That's fine then. Dark dragon Nibiru. <clears throat> True. Many are saying this. That's fine. At, if we need to, we can revive it. If not, we can't. We don't worry about it. The only thing I think I might have messed up, but this is always hindsight thing. Maybe I should have done that. I was hoping they wouldn't read. That was the main thing. I was hoping they wouldn't read the ref lazy protection and just hit into Sarah for big damage. There. But I think they may have White. even not worried about it. Wyvern Burster. That's the easiest book of Moon ever. Get book. Get book, Lamau. We're not worried about... No, we're good. We're good. Leave. No. Uh, we the only thing is... Later? We're probably going to trigger it later. We're probably going to trigger it off the Trap for Chapel Nightmare. But more importantly, we want a... Uh, if they go to end phase, we can always hold a T, reborn the Dianea, which will allow it... Yep. No, you're good. We're good. We don't... We... We have a, a Mantis and a Mermelion Grave. Let me double check. We currently have Mantis and Diana. We do not. Okay. Then yeah, we're just not using it until the end phase, probably. Or unless they target a monster we control for, or a card we control for destruction. <laughs> what did they add? They added back Sarnir, which they can use on the... Sarnir. That's... They're banishing the Druus Worm to summon Sarnir. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Just uh, double checking. Yep, that's fine. So what we're going to do here, because the Bestial Lubellion thing is actually extremely annoying for us. Oh, Which actually, their beast is out of the way, right? Isn't there? Does yeah, beast, set oh, beast, does beast set Retribution or does Retribution set? Beast sets, retri beast sets the other one from the graveyard, but it has to be in the graveyard. We could also use the okay. trap hole on the Lubellion. We could. I don't think it will matter, though, because they don't. they removed their... Druish worm from the grave, and that was the biggest threat to us at them at that moment. No, oh, I think we still hit it. Well, it has to activate. I think it's a lot. I think it's a lot. We allow them to set up their retribution shit because the thing is that we want to hold it for something bigger. We want to hold it for a levy or a chaos angel. I don't uh, think they're gonna like get that. to those though if we stop this. I think they're. I think they would absolutely get to that if they stop this because we don't know the cards in hand. That's the bit. That's the big current biggest problem we have right now is we don't know what's in their hand. The set card is probably Imperm, if I had to guess. Actually, it might not even be Imperm, because they would have Imperm the Reader. No, oh, no, yep. Okay, so we're going to trigger the Holity targeting the Dianea. And then they're going to respond with, we're going to go Dianea, Chainlink 1, called by... Oh, that messed things up a little bit, I think. <laughs> that does a bit, that does a bit, but it's fine. Standby Reader effects, we get the Yoink. card back. So they're going to... What is that? Oh my god. A really uh, good card for them. Yeah, honestly. To attack. Yep. Attack position. And then we go normal Mantis. We're going to add Arachnacampa, probably. Yes. We got the Branded Beast earlier. Now they're getting the free rocket. Yep. Reader gives and takes. Yeah, this is true. That's fine. Allow it. Allowed. They're just going to get Sarnir. Dump so many cards. Grab Arachnacampa here. And then Sarah will set Holity. Another Holity. And we're going to do the, the funny super swap again, where we're going to Mantis back our, our set card. Turning these cards uh, we actually, couldn't activate into trap holes. Into resources, yes. No. And then you go Holity, discard the trap, summon out probably... Oh, we can't do Pudica because they would let... They would, Nibiru, they would get the Nibiru back. Trigger the effect of Sarah. I think there's a goofy play we can go for here, actually. Ash the Sarah, that's fine. Oh, well, that that's removes fine. the decision. Go into the extra deck. Let me see what we have for stuff. So we could Zeus. That is an option. We could Zeus. Or we could Underworld Goddess the token. What do they have in Grave? They don't have... They don't play Earths, even. No. Oh, they have nothing in Grave. Oh, we're... They're going to have a bunch of things soon. The Redo is going to Oh, they're going to have so much shit soon, actually. Oh, wow. They're going to have so much shit. Go into... Activate camp effect in hand. This will cut down a lot of the decision making on uh, attack. It doesn't matter in the position. And then we're going to use Sarah, Holity, and Kampa for Oedipus. <clears throat> for Oedipus. We're going to go. We're not going to need Sarah right now. Oedipus effect target the. Target all three. Why not? So it targets equal have, to the number of what? Maybe should have targeted the, the, regain, but the regain, but that's fine. Oh, wait, uh, and then we're going that. to banish a... No, I messed up. Banish a normal trap. We're going to banish the Trap Hole Nightmare to pop the... Probably the Lubellion. 
because we can run because the thing the difference is that we can run over the wyvern burst or we can run over the what's it called and we can attack or we can attack into the nibiru for damage so i think we just we like all things equal i think that is the play okay and then so we go we go redoer into either of the defense position monsters this is gonna get them the black but that's probably fine well it gets them a draw off for the next turn <clears throat> that does mantis into sarnir yeah, this is actually a really gummy board state because they ashed the thing and they removed the other one they're gonna send magnum up probably so that they can yep so they can revive it yeah we don't have any real interruptions here which is annoying we do not however if we survive next turn we do we have a lot of interruptions if we survive yeah and then we just make yeah we make sarah still we still make sarah with with mantis because alamiris is just bigger okay is this our third sarah yes yes right. okay yep. yes yeah and hope that, that Redoer gives us something broken. What's this? Resolve? Yep. I guess that's the Dianea. Yep. It's always just a thing with simulators that they're like, ah, Dianea resolves. Do you want to activate Max C? You meet the condition. Yeah, exactly. But no, we're not using that yet. But thinking about uh, it, though, is we'll there a probably... sequence with Mermillo? Wait, did we ever get Mermillo? I think no, we, we didn't. We still managed to not no, get it. No, we didn't. No, we didn't because we were going to get it off of, <laughs> off of Sarah, but we didn't. Ah, Nib, our old friend. Yeah. All right, so we have to bank on them. They have the black, they have the white, they have seals pass. They have seals pass guaranteed. However, I'm not sure how much that's going to do for them. Oh. What? Huh? It popped itself to add back earlier. Let oh, me yeah. just read what it does. Oh, yeah. Wait, how did it regain? Oh, regain advantage. Yep. All right. You what can... the Once per turn, you can pay half your life points to send as many cards you control as possible to the graveyard, except... From the extra monster zone is if you do send cards from your opponent's controls to the graveyard up to the number of cards you sent to the graveyard inflict the greater damage okay so they only have one card that's at the moment. completely fine that's completely fine if they because if they send a ton of cards wait they paid half wait. their life points they're going to send one of our cards to the graveyard probably wait, wait, wait does it not send does it not do for cost it paid half his life points for cost oh it doesn't target i think we let them take a reader if they take a reader i think we're, I we think can either lose, we can lose one extra monster or we can lose just the redoer because they're going to get a rocket right, search. Redoer, redoer is not going to do much here. Redoer is not going to do much for the rest of the game. Uh, so I think that's completely fine. Because the thing is, like, redoer will allow them to search, but if even if we use the effect, they're going to take something else. It's a sort of a lose situation here, especially with them having five cards in the hand. Yep, but that also saves us from saves us having to deal. This it gives us the ability, excuse me, to reborn Adipus if we need to which will give us an attack boost that they may not be able to run over depending on the type of board they can make. Granted, I think they're I think they're fine. I think they will have a good enough board. <laughs> it is interesting. Oh, that's very funny. That will do nothing for them though, other than free the extra monster zone. Which matters when they're trying to go for striker dragon to get the boot sector. Oh, they play another card. What do they play? Are you playing two branded retro Are you playing a tued? Oh, okay. Really? Two branded regain. Okay. Oh, the card is broken. Bro, that card is once per turn per copy, but once per chain. That is not, it's not a hard once per turn. It's a hard once per chain. I think that wins them the game. Uh, that wins them the game here. Should I just? Because we, we don't know. All right. We'll see what happens. That's too that many will, bodies. Like, that will almost <laughs> certainly win them the game, but it's very possible that, like, they just fumble. So they want to search Lenny. Oh, yeah. We win here. You think? If um, they levy for popping our field, we just summon Rafflesia. Oh. And we just... But granted, our draw will have to be incredible. Our draw will have to be incredible, and if we summon, they get Magma, and Magma searches whatever. Oh, levy. Oh, wait, do they... Is the shuffle back once per chain? Or once per turn? Hard ones? Um, let's read. You can um, only use this effect hard one, once per turn? Yeah. So they cannot recycle their Wyvern Burster, so they actually messed up there. Yep. As I said, seals pass. Yeah, so they again, they fumbled the bag. This will get them back there. Uh, they will be able to get, get a search of a bestial, but this means that they won't be able to really clear our field very much unless they are willing to remove the steals from the field or they have the most goofy line they could possibly have. Tribute summon bestial over hieratic speeders. They've summon normal summon the Starly. I know, I'm just trying to think of stupid plays that would be funny. They'll hit redoer. Oh, they could, they could go, oh, that's funny. That's very funny. I like that. Yeah, yeah they haven't fine. had a card to hit all game. <laughs> They've had to banish their Sauron here. Yeah, that's fine. If they go battle phase, they go battle phase. They're not able to clear out of this here. 
they clear Sarah, but this is an issue actually. Hold up. They had rocket caliber a long time ago. They added so if they added rocket caliber, they probably have tracer. But they can. But the thing is, they can re reborn from grave. Oh, okay. We might lose here. Yeah, I guess there's. Some, how do they get the game shot? <sighs> they don't win on the spot, but they the thing is that Boral went. What the fuck? Oh, that's how they win. This guy doesn't technically do anything, right? What does he do? He does a lot. He can negate. He can shuffle back our cards to negate. Or shuffle back theirs to destroy. Or special summon a monster from the banish pile. Yep, they get Druid Swarm here, and then they make a, a 10. Uh, so here 10 we're gonna... Go into... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chaos Angel. Here we're gonna... Oh, okay. Oh, should I have done something? Probably. I was gonna say you should have done Holity, get the... Because now, they, now they have two negates and ascend. And they choose right. Damn it. Okay, we lose here. Yeah. Okay, we scoop. <laughs> we scoop. Okay. I was like, we probably lost from there, but they actually had the nuts. All right. So we're going to want anti spell, and that's pretty much it, honestly. I don't think we need cosmics. What uh, comes out? Cut a. Oh, this is so, always so difficult. This Fire is the worst place. part about citing it. So I play 60 cards. Easy. <laughs> yeah, you have all the random cards. Yeah. Cut a Gravedigger. Cut the cut an imperm actually no just cut ash put the imperm back just cut two ash all right good yep we'll spike the one of ash it's fine sounds good <laughs> sounds good really want a special one of their dragons with the alamaris yep, yep. that'd be nice okay, play, play, uh, or it's one of the reasons i don't play furniture lab oh sand seems pretty nuts normal cab uh, and we're gonna want to shade first before even make Sarah, and then we're gonna want to shade afterwards. You gotta be careful. I can do silly moves. All right. Like the shade first isn't actually that bad of an idea, but because the thing is that it would guarantee us a body. Because we, the only issue here is if they have the ash, then they have the ash. But now we, but we still have holity to make another guy. Cool. So we still do go holity. It's a bit weird, but we still do holity. Discard that special, and then we just make. What do we have here? Goose is not going to do much. Rufflees is not going to do... Is going to do enough, but is that worth it? I think we do have to just go Rufflees, you pass. Yeah, Rufflees, you pass is the, only, is the only option here. Redoer would not do nearly enough in this situation. Plus, it would give the, it would give us a banished target. Plus, Regain can shuffle back the Redoer, which would put us in a bad position. Now, we at least have a Reborn for the Kampa by sending Holity off of Rufflesia. And we have gate. Oh, we should have. That's it. Fine. Wouldn't have affected this. It wouldn't have affected card. this particular card. But I, so, I assume we should it. activate it now, yes. right? Yes. Just thinking, because a lot of trap hole cards can miss timing. Because it can refuse uh, to miss This would not work. This would not be word. So the when you can affect on a trap card is a when you qu can quick effect. So the last thing that would happen in the previous chain has to be the summon. Now, in this situation, the last thing in the last chain was the summon, even though anti spell fragments was chain link two. Yeah, the summon has to occur like by one. chain link one with like uh, a then conjunction. Uh, yeah. interesting. So we lost. Yeah. It was not a great situation here. Yeah, I think our hand was pretty pigeonholed. It was not great. It, we're okay. to, All right. We had like a very specific line we had to take, and it was not a winning one. It was one that lost to any hand trap. At, the, at least Ash. Okay. Yep. Let's just see what extender they go for. And they kill us. Can <laughs> they play through anti spell? Probably. Almost certainly. They get Rocket Recharger here, and then just... Oh, no. Oh, wait. It adds Collapse Serpent. That's right. Forgot about that. Yeah, um, yeah they, can play through it. they can play through it. I'm not sure what they do. My, what, honestly, what can I'm we talk sure. like that does anything if we need to? A normal Summon. Just something to go into with the Ragnar Camp? Any Normal Summon that has an effect, activated effect. Well, unfortunately, uh, Camp of Summon from Grave doesn't do anything. It doesn't trigger Sarah. But um, we're going to want to Summon Rephlesia here, most likely. Oh, yeah, sure. Maybe are they going I'm, maybe into some sort of spell line without the ability? To I think they're going with spells. a link line, honestly. But I'm very confused because what? Bro, okay, on attack deck, reborn Rafflesia. Raffles is coming out. This is very funny. Okay, they, so now we get to keep. But you would still take the damage. Yep, the field spell actually would be a funny top deck as well. For us, we can't activate it either. Oh, we can. We have a trap trick monster in grave. We can banish the kaiju. <laughs> no, not that we're under anti spell. Oh, sure, you're right. I'm not really sure where our lines go. Like, we really need a trap tricks monster to activate an effect. We need a monster. Oh, they have the white. 
Oh, they got of course black. they do. They searched it. Yeah. Seal, Seal pass. pass. Won the game. Won the game. <laughs> All right. All right. The, is this the, is is the play <sighs> potentially Rafflesia into a second Sarah? I think, least... the, I think the play is actually switch Rafflesia to attack position. <laughs> battle phase. All right. The play is legitimately go battle phase, force the spheres. But it just bounces back the type. Probably. But I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm like trying to think of a sequence that. that would be good here. If, if oh. they bounce the kaiju, they bounce the kaiju. Who cares? They didn't well, bounce it's, anything. It's something important. we'd have to deal with again. But they didn't bounce anything important is the big thing. There's no reason for them to bounce anti spell because their spells are already set. Oh, and they messed done. up. <laughs> yep, and that was what I was hoping they would do because now we can make Rafflesia into a Sarah. Okay. Well, might as well attack it, right? Yep. We just hit into it with Rafflesia so that we have the low, the higher attack monster attacking directly. Maximize the damage. And now they reveal they had Gores in that zero card hand. Broken. Okay. okay. Now we so. make Sarah with, with Rafflesia. That's the coolest part about this deck is that you can use the as Normal Mantis. And then we get... We grab Kampa here. Oh, no, we... No, yeah, we always grab Kampa here. We always grab Kampa here. There's no reason the lock matters here. We grab Kampa and then Sarah set Floodgate Trapple set the book of moon and then we camp effect to summon what do we go into with it though uh, another rank four. Oh, it's uh, just one probably of these, right? ping we get we at, at minimum we get a rank four so we probably just make pingicula which we'll be able to search out or diana for follow-up which one is probably is generally just preference detach campus specifically here uh that way if we can manage to get a whole team grave we can do anything probably the diana here because if we get the, if we have ping survive, we win anyway. All right, we're passing around to see another play, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, what does this card um, do besides searching? It se it can attach a monster that is banished or sent to the graveyard by card effect that your opponent controls and owns and possesses. But she also searches a traffic monster, so if she survives next turn, she will have two material because they will probably search a bestial, because they will have a bestial here which they will have to banish to activate, which means we can attach, and we will be able to search ping. So we'll have our both our normal summons, and we can talk back anything, and we will still we will still do any do everything. Okay, uh, and uh, this, is, uh, this is Dragon That's Ravine, right? Dragon Ravine, we know that. This could be anything. That could, could be anything but a Dragon Ravine. Pro it's probably an Imperm, That wouldn't honestly. specify the column placement, but it could be a spell. It, they might have just put a spell in a zone that they knew we wouldn't put an Imperm in. That's true. I can't imagine what they would grab. Yep, yeah, so we're going to want to save the plug it travel for the summon uh for either so what, is, what are they grabbing here we it doesn't matter about the summon of druish worm because druish worm will get taken by put by ping magnum sure so one unknown in hand we know it's dragon ravine if they dragon ravine so we're activating ping no matter what here to take whatever they banish unless they banish something silly we're taking that. Oh, we're taking that. Oh, we're taking that. Prompt me. <clears throat> it won't ask me yet. Oh. Oh! What does that do? Special summons itself on a dragon summon. If it's used for a link material, it, they get to draw a card. Also, it has a effect oh, where if we target a set card, then they can oh, banish shoot. it and their set cards can be. Set effect chain link one. Just set. And then we're going to floodgate trap. Oh, wait. Oh, that was chain link two. We should have booked last turn. Or last um, move. Oops. I think we have to book the Lebellion eventually. We do but we really wanted to out whatever they have yeah well, uh, set, magma just turns into labellion doesn't do anything. because now we have trap follow-up so we're guaranteed monster follow-up with diana and we're guaranteed trap follow-up with the uh, set trap in addition ping is now immune to monster effects and so then, we should be booking yes right? we're, book, we're booking this and then it's banish what does after router do the, the oh, well, not division, not division. Okay. So when card, your opponent activates down. a card or effect that targets a face down card you control, you can oh, banish this card or negate that effect. Also, oh, your yeah. opponent okay. cannot so target face the rest of the turn. So we're summoning Mermelio here. We're summoning Mermelio here, and we're popping the set oh. that is not Dragon Ravine. As it will not do anything because Dragon Ravine requires a card in hand. What we're hoping is that Ooh, that shit. is the worst possible thing it could have been. But also, this could be anything. But now we're for Dragon this Ravine. This could be anything. Now they have a Dragon Ravine target. Ah. It seems I have made a, a blunder, and it was anything. <laughs> it seems I made a blunder. The Chaos Space, I mean, they blundered if they didn't that didn't use it when they had the chance. At the very least, least, I don't think we played wrong. I don't think we played wrong with the information we had. What did they send? Oh, 
Absa router search tracer. Tracer is going to be their normal. I don't think they normal. Tracer, right? they have not normal yet. Tracer, they're going to be able to tracer pop the field spell. So we still actually win here, I think, because we have a lot of follow up. Is the thing, if they pop Holoti, then we still get Rafflesia back or another monster. They get to boot sector launch here, which is a bit annoying. And striker yeah, dragon. So many monsters. They get to boot sector launch from grave is the thing. Yeah, they will link these into. Maybe seal, draw a card off of this, and then... Almost oh, certainly. Boot two. Boot summon two, make... Fisty? Fisty, triple burst. Uh, probably Fisty bring back. I think, I think they'll might... go through that. No, I think they go for the, uh, what's it called, line? The hip seals. I think they go for the... Wow, they draw so many cards. Man, wow, they were... that was really that really was the worst possible uh, oh, section. God. Oh, wait, they can't boot sector. Misplay. I think that's two misplays. Unfortunately, All we're, right. getting, so there we're learning how to play through our opponent's misplay. Listen, there, there was actually no misplay that whole time because I forgot Anti-Spell Fragrance was there, and that is a fine draw. Ping, for, start off Pingicula effect. Detach the Trap Tricks monster because we want to keep the dragon so that she remains immune, and we're going to add Pudica to our Keep hand. Keep in mind, we still have Anti-Spell. We're still adding Pudica to our hand. Just making sure. In case the well, playline well, was the is, is that they might bounce. The thing is, is that they might be a fool and bounce it. But it is not going to be our normal summon. But yeah, you we know. can put it in the deck. We can summon it from the deck, we, right? Well, you still want it in hand. Okay. We want it in hand to have the ability to normal it at any moment. Here we're going to go Sarah chain link one, ping chain link two, and we're going to attach that magnet. That's fine. They're not going to have an X turn. I like the sounds of that. Set two. Uh, grab the trap hole. Grave diggers. Grave diggers trap hole. Even if it won't be like useful, roughly is just not in the deck anymore. It won't matter, or extra deck anymore. It won't matter. Hilariously, we can make underworld gauze here. If we nor no normal our Dianae, Dianae effect target anything. It doesn't. It, do it, it just doesn't sense. matter which one we we grab here. They're all good. Really? Okay. Sure. Now, sure. That's I fine. mean, it's fine. I just the goal was to try and out that while we could. I guess yeah. we could, should have probably outed it first. They took the kaiju back. They took kaiju back. Let's go. Okay, so we actually so this does everything. Yeah, that's fine. No effect. The worst case scenario is they get Albaz and then make Mirror Jade. That's the worst case scenario. However, they're not good at the game, so they don't have that. Same. That's what if I hold it up. They'll tribute Magnuma to negate a. Target one of the monsters, banish it. They oh. can banish her Xe summon if we make an Xe. Or we can attack it first, but then we continue the game. Uh, what do we have in the extra? Hold on. Because I think this might actually just be fine. Goofiest play would be make reader. I think we just continue this one. Make reader. With what? Elio and Kampa. And put an attack. And now we're going to get Putica into rotation. What's in their extra? Actually, what's in their banished? Oh, they're using it. Oh, yeah, okay. We're using Reader here, and we can actually kill them here. Because this... Yeah, we win the game here. Jerusalem? Jerusalem target what? Yeah, sure. Chain... No. There was no need to chain it. There was no need to chain it, but I probably would have. Just because sure. Drake hits target one of the special... Wait, Baldrake. What's the effect of Baldrake? I just make it sure it was once yeah, per turn. One of those. One of those special summon monsters. Yeah, yeah. okay. So yeah, we're so... running away, so it's not relevant. Yep. Activate Holity. Special summon, Sarah effect to special summon. Oh, King Seals is in Banish now. God damn it. Special Putica. Special Putica. We got, we got a special the Putica. And then we're going to banish the, the what's it called? The face down. The Lubellion? Yeah, because Lubellion has a funny piece of text where it must be special summoned by tributing one, one of the cards. So, okay. it, so it will not be able to come back. gone forever. They will probably be able to get Seals back. They will be able to get Seals back, in fact. Seals However, the main monster zone doesn't actually do anything. Exactly. Oh, I forgot this card. Exa That's fine. We, That's fine. Okay. They negated the effect, so it won't do anything. We make Alamiris here. With three or two? Two. There, there's no, there's no reason. We're going to use Holoty and Putica. We're going to use Alamiris effect to reborn. What's in the grave? Do we have any holes in grave? Any good holes? We have Holote. Floodgate. Trapped. Floodgate. That one. I didn't miss up. Okay. We just grab. Anything really. Mermillo pop the field spell? Yeah, may as well. I pop the field. Yeah, so I probably should have just used the Dyna, but I wanted the attack power. Go to extra, make an Adipus with Mermelia, Dianea, and Sarah. Put it, uh, put it up. 
and then we can just activate the Adipus to force out the... Just to negate both, and then force the Druus Worm. So we're destroying the Druus Worm? No, we're destroying the Baladric. We're destroying the Baladric. Shade. You always banish the, no the uh, non-engines. Because the thing is that we have to go battle phase here now. We have to go battle phase, and we have to go... Go ping over the face down. Because we need to clear the 3,000 body, yes. And the idea is that we're going to go Adipus into the Druus Worm, and they're either going to remove the Adipus or the Ping. Either Ping's way is right? fine. Or sorry, Adipus or uh, Alamir. Either way is fine. I would prefer they remove the Adipus, because if they remove the Adipus, then we can make a Sera with Alamiris. Okay, they're deciding. And will they read Pingulica? Probably. I'm unsure. They haven't read Anti-Spell before. They did not read Hila. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, then. Okay. So this is... The funny thing is, we this is exactly lethal from Gravediggers now. Okay. So make Sarah uh, so just... We go to... Sarah out of Alamiris, and then we pass. Activate and and something. if they activate any card in, uh, in the graveyard or in hand, they die. All right. Well, I was hoping we'd lose so that we wouldn't have to go to game three just because the match has been long, but this has the been The match has match. been long. It's been a bad match in the sense our opponent's not playing perfectly. But it, maybe we'll get to do some more cool stuff next the next game. Yeah, maybe. Why would you do this? Maybe he thinks Wait. it'll clear the whole board or something? Reader. I, oh, they have a kaiju in hand, so that's two unknowns. Or two knowns. We just don't worry about reader. If they reader, if they hit reader, we don't care. They can't activate any card in hand. They have activate one... Oh, yeah. They also can't activate any cards in grave. So or they bad. have to play... They have to play with rockets. They got a player around. We have a tax dragon. Get the masquerade. All right. Yep, kiting, of course. That's fine. Funnily enough, if they activate a card that banishes, we could just chain Holity, summon back Ping, and get a free attach. That's hilarious. That's fine. Oh, they banished without activating. Yep, they did. What does this do? <laughs> Nothing. Can't think Not of anything. It will. It will do. It will attack into Sarah, and that's it. <laughs> if they had another level four, they can make a rank four attack and then make zeus that would be the best possible thing they do could they do they have if... do you play rank fours in, in i don't think they would i'm just trying yeah. to think of like how we lose the game and that's like the only thing oh we, we absolutely lose if they make zeus <laughs> oh um, well, we have no, graveyard we, set up. we, we have got... graveyard we have graveyard we win we have they would clear our anti-spell pudica searches field spell we get mantis oh too. They, they wouldn't that's oh yeah that's that yep oh okay we should have put a good there a thousand it'll send uh, both of their monsters to the graveyard and two of our cards. Is it send or destroy? Just send, um, right? Send as many as theirs, and then okay, send yeah, cards. You're fine. you're fine with that. I don't even care about Reader here. <clears throat> you don't care about Reader here? Yeah. What can they send? They, oh, I guess fine. they have to deal with Gravedigger. They have to, right? They got they're... to send one? Because their graveyard... Because their card went to the top of the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Oh, wait. How, why, how does this card work? If it gets specials from the extra deck, it goes to the bottom of the deck and leaves the field. All right, we're going hand. second versus dragons. Oh, if it's from the hand, it goes to the bottom of the deck. If it, it, okay. We're going second versus dragons. Dark Ruler and... Dark Ruler... Oddly enough, Kai, Dark Ruler Kaijus. Are cut the like? last... Cut the last... No, because they, they'll make four negates. Cut the last Ash. Cut the Anti Spell. And then cut... The Trap Trick Trap... Tra 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 trap Trap Nightmare. Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare. Put back in the Terrifying. And we cut the bottomless. Yes, that's fine. Okay, this is good. Come on, Shifter. Shifter is the only... Never mind. So, funny thing about Godarlo, by the way. The field spell protects insects and plants from battle once per turn, not just trap tricks monsters. So Godarlo will... So Godarlo into Godarlo will actually cause your Godarlo to survive. Nice. Which is very goofy. So this hand is... Very weird. This hand will actually require you to mantis search, mantis search vesiculo. And we'll trap. we have to draw a trap for that, right? No, because we'll go because we go oh, Kampa set Sarah set the trap, and then we have vesiculo summon with the trap, and then we have the trap in grave for extra disruption. But they're going full combo, so I don't think it matters. Who plays Rocket Caliber? I've never seen this card played. I currently play it in the deck I'm playing, but that's because of the. I'm playing stupid cards. I'm on an Orcist Phantom Knight deck at the moment, and I play Rockets in it, and uh, I forgot why I wanted Rocket Caliber in there. I can summon Gearsy from hand. I also like the ability to boot sector for more names. 
there. Yeah, it, there are dumb reasons. The deck's crap, but... That's not that bad. Eh, it's just better things out now. And that's part of the thing. Like, a lot of older, decent decks were decent when they had options for generic cards, but all the generic cards have been banned now. They've literally banned, like, every generic card you could play to make any old deck good. So now, new decks' engines are just slightly too good. Makes sense. Seals pass. It's the FTK. And this actually does actually hurt the Kaijus so much. Unless they're, like... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. I told you we should do even. No, I, was uh, I feel like dragons are like sometimes hurt by evenly, but I, I wasn't fully. All right, um, we've won the game. We have actually just won the game with that draw. Wow, that's wow. Okay, but they're wow. gonna activate anti spell mm, against cool. our trap deck. That'd oh, be funny true. if they activate decree or something. That would be extremely funny. Um, what do we do? Do we kaiju first? Kaiju, kaiju the We're gonna spirit. have to kaiju the seals. They get a guy, but like it's just a magna mutt. Who cares? Fuck, oh, I hate that. I hate that that's the optimal play. Because the thing is, like, with Garden, you can actually double normal Mantis. And that's, like, really cool, but they're never going to bounce Mantis. Yep. Yep. Okay, okay. we're going to do not activate it yet. Because we don't want to telegraph any plays. So we're going to normal Mantis. Mantis effect. Uh, see if they have an Imperm, which is... I'm going to say it's 100% likely. Oh! This is a massive issue, actually. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Can't wait. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's not good. That's not great. That's really not control great. control is pretty good with the... All right, <laughs> so we're going to summon Gardarla. Oh, that's really not good. Oh, wow. Activate... What's an extra? What's in our extra deck? Because we're going to have to double Ptolemaeus, or we're going to have to Ptolemaeus to make Zeus. We're going to have to like do something to make Zeus here. Uh... Ptolemaeus can't attach in the end phase now. Ptolemaeus can go into Stellar Knight Diamond, can sell a Diamond oh. in main phase too. We just go gar garden. To make Zeus, we need to and garden because we get locked if we use this. Normal Diana, I guess. Oh my god. This is not a great situation. Told you that evenly. No, that's all right. Uh, I didn't <laughs> really say it. I think they would I have actually made bigger keep... deals about things in videos I before. Think, I think they would keep the, uh, the skill drain even as a thing. Uh, yeah. Normal Diana. And then we just make some anything in attack position. Any Baguska, probably, because that's not going to count with ever. We get the double set up in case they clear right, the skill drain for us. He, yeah, it's true. Yeah, we just go Ptolemaeus. We just clear our extra deck a bit. It'll also be funny for them I to think. see it. It will be very funny to see it. Oh, and then our Godarla will actually crash with the Godarla, but it won't be destroyed because Garden. Okay, at least we have some way to do some damage. 2700 and a 3000 body. Oh my gosh. I hate skill drain so much, dog. It is it is one of it is one of the only cards that I dislike. And then we don't have any other plays, so we just pass. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll eventually lose to the branded beast. Very quick. We didn't uh, put in anything. They have this. to set off of off of they have to hard draw it. We still don't, we don't have a real out. Here. We don't have a right, real but, out. We are just gonna be summoning guys and they're gonna be summoning bigger guys faster. The, like, the, these are the, the biggest cards biggest, in the deck. The biggest out to our board right now is not that actually it's them summoning chaos angel or them summoning dispater because those are 35 and we do not have an out to that other than underworld goddess which we have lost our ability to spam with that's fine they're going to have to have we might be able to win because they can't set the branded beast so we may actually just be able to go big guy beats but they're just better at it also they, they just put rebellion in defense we can't beat it that's true. That's the end of the se that's the end of the sentence. That is just true. Ah, never mind. We lost the game. <laughs> I forgot about that card. Ah, uh, yeah. So we just lose the game here. <laughs> There's no weird sequence where we get to uh... no outs to skill drain natively in the deck are special summon Romelio off Sarah, which you've made beforehand, or like special summon it off of the garden, and then flip torrential tribute. Those are that's the out. You flip torrential tribute to allow your Romelio to pop. Obviously, Woo. this doesn't do anything, but nothing we did anything. It's fine. They will have the triple tactics talents. Yeah. <laughs> they will win harder. Let's just see if they do anything interesting, and then we'll just concede, because we're playing to nothing at this point. We didn't side anything that would deal with this, so. No. I guess, I guess we should have conceded. Unfortunately, uh, that they, they, particular they... card, I don't think I was planning on. I was not planning on it either. I don't unfortunately, know I think in. it's a very common side play at the moment, because I see it a lot, unfortunately. Yeah. 
Which is just I, I watch a decent amount of DB Grinder, but I have not seen like pure Bistral Control lately. It's been like just other more hardcore dragon decks. I've been playing into. I've been playing it on IRL. Some people have been playing against me. It's just un, it's just really unfortunate that our big guy was small in the face of Jerusalem. Well, they probably only have one. We still can't clear Lubellian. <laughs> True. They can clear us though, because that's a four and a six, and that's a light and a dark. GG. <laughs> Hilariously, this might actually not be GG. Oh, because of the because of the battle protection. <laughs> I don't want to go through this any longer. Uh, it's a that's, long no, game as fair. it is, so I'm gonna that's cut it fair. for that reason. Yeah, but I'll let them fair. I'll let them read a card by letting them see that they didn't die. <laughs> All right, cool. Back to the deck list. We'll talk about anything that didn't come up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any thoughts on anything that didn't come up that's worth mentioning? Um, we obviously didn't get to do Alamaris Yoink. We didn't get to do the Alamaris Yoink. We didn't get to make. We didn't have a position where we had to do Durandal. There weren't the side deck could obviously use some work. This is like a generic side deck because the meta hasn't been completely figured out. And I thought, oh, branded, branded's gonna be good. Cosmics because I because you fear God. You know, you can't always account for uh, for big guy beats just deciding to play skill drain. They probably had Beast King Barbaros in there even. I don't know if I go that far, but I would. Know. I they're <laughs> cowards if they don't. All right, cool. Tribrigade so, has to have an out. All right. So I think that's going to wrap this up. Thanks again for coming on, Twigs. Everybody check out the Trap Trip Trap Tricks Orchid Discord server. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And we'll make sure to address them. And uh, see you guys next time. Adios. All right, that's super long video. I'm going to...